Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm making a side dish called Southern Corn Pudding. This is a dish you can use for any meal. To make this, you will need these ingredients. For the white sauce, you will need a quarter cup of cooking oil, and I'm using canola oil, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of milk, and a dash of salt. For the rest of the casserole, after we get the white sauce done, you'll need a 15 and a quarter ounce can of whole kernel corn that has been drained, two tablespoons of sugar, and two beaten eggs. You'll also need a casserole dish that has been sprayed with cooking spray. So I've heated my pan up a little bit, and the first thing I'm going to do is put my oil in and let it get a little bit heated. Then we'll put our flour in. I'm going to stir this together. And I'm going to cook this just for a little while, just so that the flour taste is gone. So I'm going to add my salt, stir that up. And then I'm going to pour my milk in. And we're just going to stir this continuously until it's thickened. Okay, our sauce, our white sauce has thickened up nicely and you can tell that it's thick. You can rub your finger across the spoon and it leaves a line. So now what we're going to do is take it back over to the counter and finish putting the rest of our ingredients together. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and now I'm going to mix all of my ingredients together. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour my corn into this bowl. My two beaten eggs. Sugar. I'm going to kind of mix that together a little bit. And I'm going to grab just a spoonful of my white sauce and stir it in so that I can temper my eggs a little bit so they don't start cooking before I'm ready for them to. And now I'll add the rest just a little bit at a time. Just stir really well and get it all mixed up together. You can also use fresh corn for this or frozen corn. I just don't have any fresh corn right now. It's not really in season here. But it would be really good just to cut the kernels off the corn and use that instead of canned. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is pour it into my casserole dish that I've sprayed. put it in my preheated oven for one hour. Our corn pudding is done. It cooked for an hour and this is what it looks like. It's got nice and brown on the top and it's all set. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like as it's served. And I have my little helper here so it's nice and creamy on the inside and a little bit crisp on the top. So this is our southern corn pudding. I hope that you and your family will enjoy it.